Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me, Tommy. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? It's going great, Chris. Had a great 4th of July. Summer's here, and things are heating up. Yes, summer is here, and it's warm weather out in Washington State, and um, that's good that 4th of July was pretty awesome for you. Um, even though they didn't have any big fireworks this year, not very many around here. Anyways, other than that, we have some YouTube celebrity gossip news. So let's get into it. Let's get to work in. Here we go. So welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, what do you got for us this week? Well, I've got a story about Ninja, aka uh, YouTube Gamer, aka Tyler, who is a streaming gamer, who had been streaming with Twitch, then got offered to do a contract with Mixer that was owned by Microsoft, shut back down in July 22nd of last year. Since then, he hasn't done any streaming until recently when he did a live stream on YouTube with uh, some fellow gamers such as Mr. Tin Man and several others. This is his first one on YouTube. He does not have any plans to continue as far as he says right now to continue uh, doing live streams on YouTube. He has no contract with YouTube gaming. He's thinking about going back to Twitch but in the meantime he has uh, did a live stream with some fellow gamers. His wife, Jessica, who's also his manager, uh, teased some interesting information out there that fans have been delighted to hear. That's really awesome news to hear that he did a live stream off of YouTube. I can't wait to see more from Tyler. You never give up on streaming altogether. So it's going to be pretty cool to see what Tyler does for some... Um, filming work or whatever he has in the works, uh, I look forward to it. So Up until that live stream uh, on his YouTube channel, which has over 20 million subscribers, he had just posted highlights from his streaming uh, days. I think it's great that uh, even though he doesn't have this contract with Mixer anymore, uh, that he's, he's looking at other things other than just Twitch. He's also uh, testing the wires with YouTube, you know, Make sure he has all of his options open out there for streaming in the future. Absolutely, and I like it. you got to test the water some way, somehow, sometimes. So, uh, moving on, Tommy, we have Kanye West. So, Mr. Kanye West has all, been all about serious about being uh, the next president besides Donald Trump. And... Um, you know, Kanye West has been to the White House lately and he has made it clear that he's very done with Trump and he's uh, very serious about running for presidency. And so since he's running for presidency, he's got to take things to the next step and he's trying to campaign a little bit. But here's the thing. I feel that it's too late for him to campaign and be in the race to become president. So, Tommy, politics aside, TMZ states that Kanye got the coronavirus back in February and um, that he's been trying to learn everything about the coronavirus. Meanwhile, he wants to, you know, further his uh, career and, like I said, running for the presidency. Well, uh, first of all, I do agree with you that it is a little too late with only like a couple months left to really build up reasons why someone should vote for you. Um, I say it can't happen. It's just that it usually doesn't happen with this, with, uh, with this much uh, distance from the finish line. Uh, the other thing is um, I've heard uh, reports of people where he has mentioned it before as a joke and he did it to uh, sell music and stuff. There are some people that believe that he's doing it this time as a joke uh, because shortly after he made that announcement, 
he released uh, a single from his new album uh, shortly after that. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, he he hasn't claimed to TMZ yet that um, it's a joke. I get it that he released an album shortly after that too, after he uh, you know announced it again. So, basically, um, people are thinking that he's serious and that he's going to run because Kanye West is more of a singer and an artist. And even though you know people don't like his music, you know. He'll always be known as an artist, not the president. If it is another one of his jokes, uh, it's a good marketing ploy for him to sell like more music. If he's serious, well, they should have jumped into the race a long time ago. Right, absolutely. You know, he says that he can um, get into the Senate race already, and, you know, I honestly don't see that. But who knows with Kanye West because he does one thing, goes to do another. We have your next story. So what is it? Okay. Um, remember back in 2010 when um, Kevin McDonald and Wrigley uh, Scott uh, announced that they were uh, getting uh, people from around the world to uh, basically help them film a, a movie called Day in the Life? Yep. Well... Uh, since then, uh, there's been uh, just separate projects like uh, Canada, A Day in the Life, India, and several others. But now they're at it again. Uh, starting the 25th of this month, you'll be able to upload and submit by August 2nd, um, basically a day in your life, to be part of the, uh, the movie, basically contracting from what life was back in 2010 to 2020. And also a thing to note that if you are going to do this and participate in it, anybody, whether it's family members or a complete stranger, even if their back is, on, is, is in, the, in the shot, you have to make sure everyone has uh, filled out a release form to be on camera. And the uh, uh, last thing about this is that uh, they want raw and unedited footage. Basically, just go about your day don't plan anything outrageous. Just go about as you were going to do your normal day. If you had anything planned, do it as normal. Just think of you. Just, just don't, don't think of it. You have to act and be all crazy. Just be normal. Be yourself. And don't be somebody else is what they're asking for. Right. Ex absolutely. So it's going to kind of be a day to life part two mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's that's really good news, Tommy. So because bigger today uh, was really... Big event con. It was big worldwide. It went viral. Everybody seemed to be into it and loved it. So it's going to be something great to see in um, a part two and, the, you know, to see what everybody has to show in their daily lives. I think it's a great thing, especially what's been going on uh, in this country and around the world. And it's a great uh, opportunity to contrast, you know, 10 years ago from. 10 years ago. Uh, that is amazing. It also will be airing at Sundance Festival, which uh, Sundance has already announced, which is unusual. They don't usually announce uh, videos, I mean, movies they'll be headlining at uh, film festivals in 2020. And also, you'll be able to ver view it on YouTube as well next year. Very awesome. So, well, basically, that's the, all the news that we have. What can people do, Tommy? They can subscribe. Click on the links down below to find out more about these stories. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, ring that bell to be notified when we upload another video. All right, so this has been a Top Level Media. We will see you guys next time. And be safe out there. All right, bye for now. Bye-bye.